Bonjour, je m'appelle Zuber Lafage, je suis professeur des universités à Centrale Lille et je suis président et fondateur de l'Institut français de la construction Lean. J'ai entamé une série d'interviews de, avec des experts qui sont liés à la construction Lean et je démarre aujourd'hui parmi le premier, Alain Mossman, où je vais lui poser quelques questions qui, qui sont liées à la définition de la construction Lean, le principe de la construction Lean la relation entre la construction ligne et la digitalisation et la numérisation, mais aussi la notion de flux, la notion de valeur et comment mesurer la valeur et quelles sont les premières étapes pour une entreprise pour démarrer une démarche ligne construction. Quelles sont les compétences à avoir pour les étudiants et pour les professeurs Je suis très heureux de démarrer cette série d'interviews d'experts à travers le monde pour avoir une multitude d'avis une multitude d'expériences et avoir sa propre synthèse et son propre avis. Merci pour votre intérêt et à très bientôt à l'Institut français de la construction Lean. Thank you so much, uh, Alan. Uh, we proceed now for the interview. Could you please uh, introduce yourself? Yes, please. Thank you, Zubia. Yes. Um, I originally trained as an architect and then in management. And after working for three years in local government, um, I moved into the academic sector to teach management and organization development and eventually became a consultant uh, in that area. And starting in 2001, I've been working in lean construction, which brings together lots of the things I was doing um, before then, systems and architecture and management and all sorts of things like that. Good. As the Lean Construction is the subject of the, today, could you please uh, define for us the concept of Lean Construction? Well, a very simple way of thinking about it is doing more and more with less and less. But in order to do that, you've got to make the work flow so that it moves smoothly from the, the start of the production process to the completion of the production and delivery process. And when I talk about the production process, I mean starting with design or even before design, when the, the client is um, beginning to think about what it is they want, a a building or infrastructure or wherever it is to do um, to actually having something that does what they want. Good. So how and why uh, lean construction is important for the industry of construction? I think it's important because it gets everyone focused on what it is that's wanted. My concern is that the focus has been on in the sector has been on money and not on benefits for customers. And by customers, I mean clients, owners, employers, all sorts of different names we've got for the people who buy construction. And part of that has been because the contracts that customers use um, don't work in their favor. The contracts that customers use, or the most of the contracts that customers use, systematically separate design from production okay um, they separate the the design part of the, the process from the production part of the process and they separate it with a bidding process this was probably developed initially to try and, and prevent corruption but actually it's led to corruption in plain sight and that's why many people, I think, resist lean, because it will reveal all the places where people make money. Great. Uh, we forgot usually to speak uh, the fundamental. Of Could you please refresh for us what are the fundamental principles of lean construction? Uh, the fundamental principles come, come from what some people call construction physics, other people call factory physics, um, and it's all concerned with how you make work flow. So capacity utilization, for example, um, you'll see it on motorways, on the highways, as 
traffic builds up on the road, mm -hmm. the speed of the traffic slows down because as you get close to 100% capacity, people have got to keep a, a reasonable distance between them and the, and the car in front because everyone um, is autonomous at some level. I'm not doing this very well. I'm going to start this one again. The principles are really important and the principles come out of um, construction physics, factory physics, whatever you want to call it. Um, the and, and as an example, we've got capacity utilization. Mm -hmm. If you try and do too much in too short a time, the system will seize up. There needs to be some flexibility. And if you think about the peripherique around Paris, um, in the rush hour, it starts going slowly. And as the, you build up in the rush hour, people start driving closer and closer together until they get to a point where they can't drive any closer together because it would be dangerous. And then things start to slow down. And that's why on many roads these days, certainly in the UK, and I think it's true in um, in France as well, on the main um, auto routes, that you've got um, speed uh, variable speed limits on those roads so that as they get more busy you slow the speed down so that traffic continues to flow if you didn't slow them down you run the risk of the whole um, auto route coming to a halt is the respect notion is one of the fundamental of lean construction principle and it why? is it why? is respect why? can for you people. explain please um Yes. Okay, I now know where you're driving at. Um, so going back to, yes, principles are really important. And there are two key principles. Um, one is continual improvement. Good. And the other is respect for people. Notice it's continual improvement, not continuous improvement. There are discrete improvement activities which take place over time. Um, and the idea is that even if we've just finished improving something, there are still things we can do to improve it. So nothing is so good that it cannot be made better. What this is saying is that there is no end to the amount of improvement we can do. It's very much a, a lifelong process. You are never going to stop doing lean construction. And the other thing is respect for people. Things in construction get done by people, with people. And it's really important that they are involved in making those changes, making those improvements, and that they see benefits from those improvements those changes. Alan, you speak usually about the fact that uh, construction is broken and you speak usually about the complexity of construction. And we know that the construction sector, which I love, uh, by the way, face a lot of challenges as productivity, as quality, as digitalization and safety and so on. How and why you can convince a company or an institution that link construction is one of the tools that bring and uh, resolve some of these of the challenges. I wish I, I wish I knew the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. um, if I did, then I'd have been doing it more than I am at the moment. I do believe very strongly that construction is broken, and there's more and more data coming out um, which supports that. There was a a book came out this time last year by Bent Flifberg, who's professor at the University of Oxford in the Said Business School. And he has taken data from over 16,000 projects and found that only, well, less than 1% are delivered on time, within the budget, and with all the functionality that the procurer, the customer, wanted from that project available on day one. Um, I've done some work with National Highways in the last year here in the UK, and they get 35% delivered on time and on budget. I've no idea about the functionality. 
Good. Because that's all they've been recording. But there is another way, and that's using uh, relational contracts rather than transactional contracts. So the mean? relational contracts bring everyone together in one contractual arrangement. And it the contract talks about the relationship that the customer wants to have with and between the supply um, chain that it's going to be working with on the project. And that is producing pro um, in, in the high 90% of projects that are delivered on time and on budget. And a high proportion of, a very high proportion of those, probably a similar percentage, but I don't know, um, are delivered with the functionality that the customer wanted. Good. Is this kind of project, the name is IPD? Um, there are various names. IPD is the one that comes from the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, Project Alliances comes from uh, UK in the North Sea mm -hmm. and so on in the 90s. And then it was picked up in Australia. Yes, IPD, RPI is um, all names for this approach which is, it is possible to do even in the public sector in Europe. Two, because... two more questions, two more short questions again, and thank you so much for this uh, clarification and for your point of view. Please, Alain, uh, how can a construction company begin to adopt a lean approach and what are the first steps and common obstacles? There are various things that companies can do, but the major constraint is often the contract that is offered by the customer. Mm -hmm. um, so e whatever the contract, they could, for example, adopt uh, the last planner system and start thinking in terms of visual management and, and various other 5S, which will improve their processes. But the real breakthrough will only come when customers, clients start procuring with relational contracts and they start buying construction using relational contracts in the way that public and private sector organizations in Finland have been doing for the last 10 years, for example. And now there's that uh, there's a growing movement to, to support that in Germany. So this is quite possible within Europe. Good. Uh, there is a is there any link between the value and link construction? And could you please explain to us what does it mean a value in your opinion? And what is the link if there is a link between a value and link construction? Well, value is what the customer wants. Great. Um, and the focus of lean construction is on delivering what the customer wants, or that's what it should be. Um, there are people, certainly in the UK, companies in the UK, who pretend to be doing lean. They do fake lean. Um, and so their focus isn't on delivering value for the customer. It's about moving cash into their bank accounts. Um, but what we see with companies that are paying attention to value particularly in the United States, is that the money comes to them very well without having to do any of that devious stuff. And, and so value is really important. And, and it's really important then for the delivery team to spend time making sure that they understand what it is that the customer wants so that they've got a really clear picture of the customer's conditions of satisfaction. Great. Final question, and thank you so much for this instructive uh, uh, interview. What are the top three pieces of advice, as you are the expert in lean construction, would you give to a company wishing to adopt lean or to uh, a master student wishing to know more about the lean construction, please? Um, well, that's six very different pieces of advice. Yes. One for the company and one for the students. Let's start with the company so that you're, you are helping 
your employees learn to to focus their attention and their work on creating value um when you've got that going in your company then you need to get that going in your supply chain and at one level companies your subcontractors are your customers so you need to be thinking as the the general contractor the construction manager what is it that my supply chain need in order that they can do good work for me um so again a focus on value but that needs to come from top management at the same time it would be really helpful if they talk if they study um integrated project delivery um, project alliances and understand what the benefits are for them and then start talking to customers about that so that customers are more likely to ask for that procurement route in the future and i think those three actions um will help transform the whole sector and and you can apply those ideas to the design side as well the design engineers the design architects and their supply chain they need to be working with their supply chain finding out what they need but also talking to the the uh, the customer the client most of their customers the um, designers and constructors and the subcontractors and the consultants out there in the industry have been brought up to think that there's only one way to do construction and that's not the lean way that's the normal way and it's the normal way that's broken they've got to fully understand the normal way and understand why it's broken because on many of the jobs that they will go into they will be asked to work in the normal way but they need to maintain a critical eye and ear on what's going on around them when they're doing their research to for their dissertation and once they get out into um into work or go on to do a phd or something like that they need to keep in mind that there is another way and it's much much better and so if they learn about lean they can then start asking questions when they get into their new workplace to help the people around them understand that this normal way which we've been doing for the last 50 70 years is very very broken and that there is a way that things can change to make it much much more effective and much much cheaper thank you so much uh, alan for this uh, exciting and uh, instructive interview uh, the last word is for you if you have some uh, words to say finally what would you want to say for uh, for all the person who are uh, who will look to your interview please um i the last word i used was cheaper and i immediately regretted it um it's it is better and it is less cost less costly but certainly in english when you say cheaper many people think it's lower quality it isn't it's higher quality it's better and it's lower cost great so, few more than one word but <laughs> great thanks so much it means that also innovation and a lot of new method for learning and to to enhance our skills thank you so much uh, dear alan for this uh, exciting and attractive uh, interview uh, it was the first interview that i am uh, starting uh, as a, a kind of a series of interview uh, with uh, some experts uh, about lean construction about uh, the sector of construction about this complexity about this new tools also about the philosophy and it will be dedicated for our partner for our student for our colleagues and uh, you are the first one who who uh, with whom i undertaken and i make this interview thank you very much indeed